Hello there and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ants. Today we are trying out the demo for Derail Valley, which as you may be able to tell, yes, we'll get to that in a second, thank you game, involves trains, which I'm actually weirdly excited about. So the game launches into early access on the 25th of January, which is the day this video should be on the channel. Um, demo build number five, Alpha. Alpha number five, surely? I don't know, doesn't really matter, does it? So yes, so this is how the game starts. The sound didn't work the first two times I started the game, but just perseverance and just continuing to restart the game worked in the end. So that was a little bit weird, but it is an alpha demo, and it is also an alpha demo of an early access game. So we can expect all sorts of things to be a little bit, a little bit shaky, I guess. So it does have the Vive wand controller outlines. Obviously I am using the Oculus Rift. I actually looked up to look through the nose gap to confirm to myself, I am using the Oculus Rift controllers. So that's a little bit, it's not ideal, it's not usually a big issue, but it's not ideal. I can't imagine it's going to be a massive issue in this. So, interact with items by reaching them with the controller and pressing the trigger. There we go, that took a few few turns. Swipe across the thumb pad to flip the page. Well, that, that works with the stick fairly well, so that's not a problem. So grab, so the grip is going to be grab toggle. Is that, is that it? Oh, because it then tells you what to do next, okay. Press menu to start the game. Oh, flip the flip the page for more. Ah, we recommend playing Derail Valley in seated mode. You can turn it on in the options. Touchpad uses switch in position. In seated mode, you can change your position in the cab by pressing touchpad corners relative to your current position. Okay, that's quite cool. While holding a booklet, I mean it's a bit late to give you the swiping pages uh, control. Switching tracks. When pointing a radio to a switch sign, press the touchpad to switch tracks. This is covered in the quick guide. Okie dokie. So we'll press uh, any of the face buttons to bring this up. So it does start off in room scale. It does say it recommends seated. So I am going to... Mm, if it's what they recommend... Oh. Oh, it just as you press it, it changes. I see, right. Weird, it does seem to change the orientation. A little bit weird. So we'll, we'll go just to seated because that's what it recommends. Options wise, items respawn when dropped. Yes, that sounds sensible. Stabilize camera on bumpy tracks. I suppose so. Uh, trigger short click locks hold. Don't entirely understand that, so I'm going to ignore it. it it's kind of. Oh, hello. Oh, did I actually click it? I must have actually clicked it. I didn't even mean to. So this is the seated mode. Um, ah, the one problem, I suppose, is I can't actually. Yes, yeah, so can we swap over to the room scale? Because I couldn't actually change uh, change where I was. So, we'll do room scale instead. So this is the train. I have no idea what sort of train it is. It's kind of dirty. It's very industrial looking. Oh, I thought it was going to put us on the train that we were looking at. I assume this is the train we were looking at, but I also expected to see carriages connected at the back and the little table over there. So it's actually moved the train to a different location as well. So what does this say? The change log bulletin. So camera stabilization, added auto lock, uh, just lots of stuff they've added to the demo, I guess. That's fantastic. I quite like that, actually. I like, think that's a nice little idea. So over here, we have several books. I need to make sure I'm not doing anything, standing on anything silly. So we have the map. Oh, I like that. Okay. I don't know what the icons are. Okay, that's quite cool. That's quite cool. I'm guessing that's the one we're interested in, because that's where we're going to actually need something. There's the job list and the car list. Okay. So I guess we need to go to one of the yards to get... Oh, that tells you which... Uh, okay. So we need to go to Y3. If we just pick this up a second without disturbing too much. Uh, so we need to go, all oh, right, so I mean we'll we'll have a go at that, shall we? I have no idea where we are, of course. That's a possible problem. There's Y, M, O and A. So the Y, M, O and A are all yards. So I'm guessing, oh no, Y, M, O and A, so yeah, that's, that's everything. So where on earth are we? That's something for us to figure out, I guess. So we are in a 571-1 shunter. Step one, set reverser. Let's change my uh, hands here. 
Now, I don't know much about trains. I do own Train Simulator, the pancake version game. They're not related to this game at all, but this is obviously a Train Simulator game. There is a, another Train Simulator game called Train Simulator, famous on Steam for having thousands of pounds or dollars worth of DLC downloads. Uh, what it does do, which I think is quite nice, is once you've bought the base game, it does update it for you each year. So if I bought mine three or four years ago and I've now got the 2019, uh, 2019 edition or whatever, so that's quite nice. Uh, I played it a little bit. Um, I was quite excited because I have one of the split throttles for a, for a HOTAS and the train I was in had a sort of basically a split throttle setup and I, I couldn't get it to work so I emailed the devs and said could I use split throttles to control with and they went no idiot and I said are you going to do it and they went well, why would we fix that so I wasn't too happy with that so anyway don't know anything about trains is my point set the reverser to forward position so this is the reverser I suppose it's already in forward position because that would be neutral does give a little a little vibration just as you click into the three locations so that's quite nice it gives you an idea so that's the reverse here. release the brake is that i suppose that'd be released because if in an emergency you want to pull it towards you don't you so that makes sense is that the radio you use to change tracks i guess it is just thought of that sorry gently push the, the throttle forward oh hello Hello. And release the throttle to stop accelerating. I'm not, not entirely convinced, but I think my brake might be on. Yeah, okay. So I was wrong. It is push forward to put the brake on, which seems a little bit crazy to me. But what do I know about trains? So sense of speed is nice it all looks very nice bearing in mind this is a demo in an early access game it all looks quite nice it's quite easy for games like this to take the easy road and make things a bit a bit cheap looking basically but attention to detail is quite good obviously the stuff in the distance a little bit a little bit undetailed just a flat texture but the trees that we can see around us are very nice the hills the textures on the rocks that are coming out there the cliffs behind us it all looks really good so 45 miles an hour is the speed limit can't really see the uh, the speedometer so we'll ignore that gently apply the brake to stop <laughs> okay okay perfect left right so if you can see it you're going to go left if it's flicked you're going to go right okay let's take the brake off and give it a little, a little bit of welly nothing too crazy Point radio, which is that there, to a laser, to a switch sign, to switch it. Well, there is a switch sign there, so we're going we're to go left. We do need to try and figure out where we are. I'm guessing maybe we started over here. So maybe we just come out to this first junction here, so we're heading towards Y. That's what I'm... Oh, it doesn't really make sense in terms of the track layout, does it? I have no idea where we are, quite simply. No idea where we are at all. We are speeding a little bit too much. Get close to a car, if in range, press couple. And that's this thing here, okay, that's fine, we can do that. How to uncouple cars, press uncouple. Navigate the railway, see available tasks, see car locations. Okay, well that's that's relatively simple, really. I don't know what any of this, oh, 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 any of this does. We know what that one does. Oh, did I miss a, a switcheroo? So where does it go into two? Oh, traffic light saying we can go forward. Where does it split into two? Maybe up here? I don't think we've been over a bridge. Oh, there's a bridge coming up. There are only two bridges in the game, so we should be able to figure it out from this. It's really got a lot of momentum. I haven't had the accelerator on at all for a long time, and it just keeps going, doesn't it? So we're coming on a right-hand corner onto the bridge. So we have got to be on this bridge here, right? Which means we should be going over another train, ah, over another train track. So we are definitely here, going across this bridge up towards M. So let's say we wanted to go down towards Y, how would we do that? We'd carry on around here, we'd go left, we'd go left. Get a bit of speed going, shall we? Let's ignore the speed warnings or the speed suggestions for the moment. Or oh, I did actually see in the game description that you can actually derail 
the train. Sort of like that, I suppose. That's exactly what I'm on about. Okay. <laughs> so, I have no idea what button that is. That button? No, that's just the steam button. I took a screenshot. I think it just means the menu button. Let's just hit restart. So we know where we... Oh, we should at least put things up. No, wrong button. Let's move... We don't need the quick start. Let's move that. Let's put that there. Put that there. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, because the quick... We told it to reset stuff. So... Where on earth did we start? We must have started down here. That doesn't make any sense in terms of where we are, does it? Unless we're here. We could be here in this bit here where it gets a bit thicker so it has all these different... Um, different lines. Let's, then it doesn't split at all. So let's just go until we see a split. Split in the line. Oh, why? Hang on, stop. We are at Y. We are at Y. Okay. I just don't know what to do with that information right now. <laughs> um, if we take a look at, oh, why is the flick, oh no, flick isn't reversed, I'm confused. Oh, okay, so where where did we start? Definitely don't have anything attached, do we? No. And the first job is red, grey, blue. I cannot see red, grey, blue on its own. Let's just go forward till till we're past all this. Because I'm pretty sure we're on three, right? We must be. Oh, I put the brake on. does have a... oh, it has a deadline. So we're on Y2 at the moment. Then that says Y3. So, the only cars are in Y1 and Y4. Okay. Okay. Oh, it does say there why. Why does that say why? Oh, destination Y3. You clown. You clown. Um, so you're supposed to use this to figure out where the cars are? So none of these actually match. So what have we got over there? Red, grey, blue, blue, yellow, red. I mean, what? So there are four jobs, but I mean, how on earth? How on earth do we get those things together? I have literally no idea. But red, grey, and blue, oh, they, I mean, that does have red, grey, and blue in it. So maybe we have to deliver those and do something afterwards. I can't remember. Let's have just a quick shunty on backwards. I'm trying to look what's actually in, in, in one to start with. It's a rolling stock starting positions. We, it does have a little dot there. Locomotion starting position. Okay. Three yellows and a red. Or just, I suppose it tells us there, doesn't it? That's stupid. It says there are two flatbeds in two. But they must be further around, right? So what can we do with these? That's the question we have. I mean... I reckon if we go into four and get that, we'll do that one. That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go forward. And 
we're going to figure this out. I'm going to probably stop accelerating at that point, which will get ready to break. I don't know how much is going to be included in the game as it releases tomorrow. Whether there's going to be um, more cars, a bigger map, I have, I have no idea. I'm, I'm assuming the demo is going to be relatively cut down, which makes obviously complete sense. I'm not sure by how much. Okay, keep going, keep going. Right, now stop. So at the moment, we're gonna go, we're gonna go right? No. Why isn't that working? Is it because I'm not further enough, further enough forward? Tell me about the radio again. Point radio to laser swine and then click, just click the red buttons, just click it in. Oh, because it goes that way. That's bizarre. Okay, why wouldn't you point it like, okay, but well, whatever, that's fine. Whatever game, whatever you want to do, however you want to play it. Hold on a second. So we want to go. If we just go forward very slowly. Or backwards very slowly. So this is going to go to the right. And then that one over there, I think we want to... Oh no, that's fine. That's going to send us to the right. And then that one we want to... the left. Right, okay, so I completely misunderstood that, apparently. So that's taking us to the left. Do we want to go to the left? This is taking me a bit longer than I anticipated. For it. No, we want to go to the right, and then to the left, and then to the left. So let's change that back. Okay, right, and then left, as this one is going, and then left, nope, nope, nope. Why is this so hard? Okay, so we're on this bit here is fine. We need to come up here. Oh my god, so we need we do need to change this one over. Right, so now this should take us the right direction, and we also want that one to be left as well. Right. So Pretty sure we are now going in the right direction. It's going to be a little burst, burst of speed. So that's going to take us to the left. He says, fingers crossed. Right, and we're now heading up towards Y4. So we need to get in nice and close and then connect the car. That's fine. I'm not really, I mean, obviously we're not actually going to deliver something successfully because I'm an idiot. But uh, I, do, I do want to just ride around and see if we can get some carts somewhere, even if it is the wrong location. That's a little bit too much brake. Bit too much brake. And let me just very slowly go back. Perfect. And then couple. Did that work? That's the question. There is but one way to find out. Did it bugger? Did it bugger? Why isn't that? Where's the manual? Where's the manual? If in range, press couple. How am I not in range for that? It's 
So you can uncouple at different locations, which is nice. Why is it showing all of them if I'm not coupled? That's my next question. Oh, I am coupled. Excellent. Okay, so. Let's just put that over there for now. We don't really actually need this anymore. So. We are going... Oh, to Y3? What's at the back of this one? We can't do that. Let's just go somewhere random. Let's just go somewhere at random. We will pick... We're coming down here. Or we'll go to M. M's within a nice sensible range, because to get to... We'd have to go back on ourselves to get to O. I suppose that's how you could deliver that, isn't it? So it is within that time limit as well. So I suppose what you would do is you take that into M3, uncouple all of it, and then go back on yourself and come in at the rear to get the... What would the other ones be? The blue and the yellow. What you then do with the blue and the yellow is a mystery. So I think we figured out how we would do it. But rather than actually doing it like a sensible person, what I want to do is just go on a, go on a little... Uh, Little ride around. If we go right here. Ah, we can't. It doesn't allow us to. I was going to say, if we go right here, it's going to take us down to this unknown area. So, what's going to happen there? So, we'll follow this road up here, or this road, this track up here. And then we'll, we'll go to M. We'll just have a look at M and see what M is like. We should probably. We can afford a little bit more acceleration just because we are now pulling several cars is wonderful. So I suppose what you'd want to do, if you were playing this relatively properly, steady fit, we inch up a little bit, is you'd want to collect everything that's at Y in a sensible enough order that you could deliver everything. That's, uh, to get rid of those three first, which leaves you with those. How do you connect that to the other yellow ones? That's a question. That's a question and a half. You have to do a lot of fiddling, I think, at the start there, wouldn't you? So you'd be connected to the blue. But if you come around the back, you'd be connected to the yellow. And the yellow bit would be at the front. So you'd connect the blue to the two reds. Does that make sense? Well, in terms of any other jobs, you don't need the blue. Get rid of the blue. You need the blue for that. Oh my god, I've got no idea. I don't I don't know how you'd figure any of that out. We'll leave that for another day. We're at a steady 60. It's going up a little bit, but not too much, which is nice. It is a 40 mile an hour corner, or 40 kilometer an hour corner, so we will slow it down a little bit. This is where we managed to derail the train the first time around. We're still a little fast, but nothing crazy. Oh, I thought that sounded a lot worse than it was. Oh, okay. Um, well, that's fine, because we probably couldn't have changed that. I don't think it'd let us go up there at the moment. I don't really want a bottle of water. Probably afford to speed it up a little bit now. So I could see this being a lot of fun, to be honest. Different trains, different mechanisms. Oh my word, now I'm confused. Uh, we're, we're going, we're going left. We don't want to go left, do we? No, we don't want to go left. We want to go right. We want to go to M. Full power reverse, please. Um... Is that not clicking or something? Oh, there we go. Oh no, it's not. It doesn't want to reverse. Damn. Is it because I've got too much acceleration? Is it just too much? I don't have to brake. Okay. Okay, well. We managed to derail the train. Is that what's happened? It certainly sounds like it, doesn't it? The brake's not on, is it? No. 
Yeah, this is flashing for some reason. If we just hit... Okay, that's fine. See you later. Must have derailed part of the carriages somewhere, I suspect. So in that case, what we'll do, because this is... Uh... Yeah, gone for 27 minutes now. Let's we'll have a little bit of a ride around. At some point, we'll just whack on the acceleration to derail it. That's exactly what happened. Derailed. Thank you. So what happens then if you just go full whack from the very beginning? Let's find out. I'll tell you what we could do, actually. We haven't just gone back. We haven't seen the back. I suppose we would have come onto that, though, wouldn't we? Well, it just goes to a dead stop. What happens if you go into it at about 50 kilometers an hour? It just bounces back. Okay, we learned that lesson. So let's just go forward and see where it takes us. So yeah, so as I said, the early access version of this game launches the day this video is out on the 25th of January. So it's the sort of thing you're interested in. Check it out on Steam, see what you'd think. I will almost certainly be picking it up and having a, a better look at it when it comes out. Um, I kind of want the derails to be a bit more dramatic, which is a little bit wrong, but there we go. So yeah, so that is Derail Valley. I am, as I said, quite excited about that. Looking forward to seeing more cars, looking forward to seeing more of the map, looking forward to actually doing some of the things properly. <laughs> That would be an interesting one. I think we'll have to just, yeah, sit down there and just figure out exactly how it is we're going to organise these. Because, I mean, oh, it's it's tricky. It's tricky. Because you want all seven of those yellows together. So you have to deliver those first three. But they get delivered to three, right? We're in three, and they get delivered to three. So what you actually have to do is couple, uncouple, and then bring the three you need in here. And then... Oh, then a lot of faffing, really, and then a lot of faffing, but that doesn't matter, we'll figure that out a different time. So we know what that does, what does anything else do? We just get going a little bit, just so we've got a little bit going, we just... What does that even say? Oh, lights, do we have lights? We do have lights. What does this one do? It doesn't have a sign. What oh, it does? Off. Oh, that's just... Oh. Don't know. Those switches don't do anything at the moment. Well, they do. You just have to actually push them forward. I was not expecting that. Only that one seems to. The rest of them don't seem to do anything. They don't do anything at the moment either. There's a big old button down here. Apparently does nothing either. Again, I was going a little bit too fast for my own good there, wasn't I? Uh, oh, that does something. Does that have a label? No. So yeah, I'm quite excited to see what all these things do. And what I'd like to see, ideally and eventually, assuming this is like an easy getting into the game mode, is a full star procedure. So you know how, oh, you might not know, if you play a flight, a flight simulator game, you can have the sort of the easy route, which is you're put in a plane with the engines on and you might even be put at the, at the runway and just told to go. Or you can get into the plane and you can be, have to go through the full startup procedure for the plane, flicking all the buttons and everything. I think X-Plane did something like that with the VR one, but it lit up what you needed to do. Or I think it was a cut down version, but so something like that would be really cool to see in this as well. But as I said, early access, or a demo version of an early access game. So lots of scope for it to get quite big. Excited to see something actually challenging Train Simulator, because that's pretty much run unchecked for God knows how many years. And like I said, the developers, uh, it's Dovetail, isn't it? And they're quite famous for not being all that flexible and for wringing as much money as they can out of their uh, their gamers, their players, by just, as we said, Train Simulator, thousands of pounds of DLC for a single game, which is insane, but there we go. So, hope you've enjoyed this quick look at Derail Valley. If you have, please do click the like button, that's always appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already, and any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I see them. As I said, I am fully intending on picking the game up when it's out and having a go on it. If you're venomously against that, let me know down below. If you'd like to see a bit more, again, let me know down below. Don't forget, streaming has returned to the channel every Wednesday at 6pm playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. It would be lovely to see some of you there. Otherwise, I will see you next time. 
hopefully in some more derail valley and there is also another series starting on saturday as well another new series to so check that out when that's out on saturday and i'll see you then thank you very much for joining me